name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise Jesus. This is prayer and praise. Now, so we're going to pray uh, the couple of things that are going on as a church that are very important that we trust God and wait upon God and seek the face of God for. How many of you know that the Bible says from the time of John the Baptist, that the kingdom of God suffered violence, but the violent one, the Biazo, the one who has that spirit of Biazo, takes it by force. And there's some things that is important that we take by force. Do you believe that, brethren? There are some things that are entitled to you, but the enemy doesn't want to give it up. It is going to come by praying and fasting. The disciples went to see Jesus Christ and said, why is it that this demon you know, they said some things will not listen? They just have a stubborn behavior, except you pray and you fast. And that's what we want to do tonight. We want to pray and stand and wait upon God. So if you are there, just find a partner. Just ask. You're going to pray this prayer for strength. Just find someone who you can partner with. If you Please rise to your feet as we go before the Lord. Just find someone who is praying. Just ask them, first of all, will you pray? Will you pray with all your heart? And just say, brother, my, brother, my sister, will you pray? And the prayer that we're going to first pray is, Lord, strengthen them. Strengthen this, my brother. Strengthen this, my sister in the mighty name of Jesus. You prayer, you are going to praise Lord. I am asking for strength in the mind. There is a release of strength that this my brother and my sister needs. They have come tonight to experience the love of God. I am trusting in the name of Jesus. I am asking, I'm waiting upon the name of Jesus to help them, to help them tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible says, iron sharpened iron, so will a man sharpen the countenance of his friend. You are trusting God for that brother, that sister. They're holding your hand tonight. The Lord Lord, they have come to experience your love. I am asking that they will be strengthened in the mighty name of Jesus. Even our Lord Jesus Christ said, Peter, I have prayed for you so that your strength will not fail. You are praying for this, your brother. You are praying for this, your sister. Lord, tonight they have come again. In this month of marching forward, let their strength not fail. Give them what they need in the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible says the race is not to the swift, neither is battle to the strong. The Bible says time and chance happens to us. We want God to help us in this month of March, that we will express the love of God, we will not relent, we will not give up in the mighty name of Jesus. This is the year of maximizing our potentials in Him. We need God to enable us. We need God to strengthen us. We need God to equip us. We need God to breathe upon us. Brethren, why don't you pray for that brother? Ask that God Almighty will strengthen them, that the Lord God Almighty will enable them, that the Lord God Almighty will equip them in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us ask that there will be a fresh unction. There will be a fresh anointing in the mighty name of Jesus. Our Lord Jesus Christ was in the Garden of Gethsemane. He was there praying. He was there, but there was the strength that was sent for. The Bible said the angel came, an anointing came specially to strengthen him. No wonder he said, not my will, but yours be done. No wonder he did not give up. No wonder he continued. Pray for that brother. Pray for that sister. Lord God Almighty, help them. Let them not give up. Let them march forward. They have come to experience Experience your love. Let that love sustain them in the mighty name of Jesus. Let that love be available. Let it come in an overwhelming manner in the mighty name of Jesus. They have come again in this third month of this year, 2017, to experience your love afresh and anew. Father, I'm praying for my brother. I am praying for my sister. Enable them, equip them, comfort them with your love in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we are praying that they will begin to experience experience your love like never before there will be a new dimension a new expression of your love in this life in the mighty name of Jesus. That way, where they have not experienced your love before, Father, let them begin now to experience it. Let them begin right now to experience your love in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, most high God. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. There's a story, you can leave those hands. There's a story, listen for a moment. Zacchaeus was there in the scriptures. We know what he, he did not even feel worthy because of how he saw himself. A tax collector, someone that extorted people. And because of that, he could not even join the crowd because of his physical limitation. He climbed a tree just to gaze at love, whether he would just see it as he passed by. 
But Christ said to him, come down from where you are. Today, love will come and visit you. You're going to pray. You have come in this prayer and praise night. You're going to pray, Lord, your visitation of love, like never experienced before in my life, let it start today in the name of Jesus. Pray that prayer for yourself. Pray, Lord God Almighty, who remembers Zacchaeus? He did not think himself worthy, but you said, I died for you too. I, I came for you too. And you said, tonight I will be with you. Father, I am praying in this month of this love of God. Let me experience love like never before in the mighty name of Jesus. Let me feel worthy every sense of condemnation in my life. Lord, I pray by the reason of your love that I would experience tonight, that I began to experience right now. Father, let them roll away. Let them be removed completely in the mighty name of Jesus. That law visited Zacchaeus. He transformed his life. He changed his countenance. He was feeling condemned, but then his countenance changed. You're going to pray that by reason of your coming tonight that the love of God will come all my fresh and new upon you. Thank you, Most High God. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. When Christ came into the house of Zacchaeus, condemnation was over. I decree upon your life, condemnation is over in the mighty name of Jesus. Every voice of condemnation accusing you, I decree by the power and the authority of the name of Jesus. Today, they are rolled away in the mighty name of Jesus. Every such voice is stilled in the mighty name of Jesus. Every plan, every word of condemnation, once again, hear the word of love of God that has come for the people of God. By that reason, that voice is is condemned today in the mighty name of Jesus, you begin to experience the love of God. You begin to see the love of God in your life and around you in the mighty name of Jesus. So shall it be in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Brethren, I want us to pray for the church at this time. The Bible says the church is marching forward. The church is always, but the gate of hell always wants to try and raise and prevent but the Bible says the gate of hell shall not prevail against the church. We're going to go before the Lord and begin to lift up the plan and purpose of God concerning this assembly. Jesus' house, D.C. We know the story in the book of 2 Kings. The persons of the prophet came to a place. He said, this place where we are is small. It's small. We need room to be made and the prophet gave a word go forward the word has come for us as a church to go forward but we know that the enemy is always there trying to take the axe away trying to trying to prevent the will and the plan of god from coming to pass but we have overcome why because christ said it is finished i want us to begin to pray concerning the mission of this local assembly the work and the campus project that we're doing we're going to begin to lift it up in the hands of god let's just begin to pray in the holy ghost that everything that stands as a wall will fall down the same way the walls of jericho came down everything that hinders the plan and purpose of god concerning the work of this church concerning the expansion the enlargement we're going to begin to pray if you don't know how to pray you can pray in the holy ghost we're going to pray and ask god lord in the name of jesus this is your work therefore we decree everything that stands contrary every agenda every council of vital fail concerning the building of your church concerning the expansion on the campus lord we stand against it today in the name of jesus we know know the story in the book of Nehemiah when they wanted to rebuild the walls of Jerusalem there was the Sambalat, there was the Tobias there was the Arabian but we know what happened that they went forward in the name of Jesus therefore we are going forward every contrary voice we're going to steal it tonight in the place of prayer in the name of Jesus you will build your church the gates of hell shall not prevail every contrary voice shall not prevail Lord, we decree in the name of Jesus, the same way help came from on high, in the name of Jesus, we pray the same way they receive help to rebuild the wall, we decree as a local assembly, Jesus House DC, tonight has received a special help, a special help from heaven to build the campus to launch forward in the name of Jesus. 
Lord God Almighty, we pray against every contrary voice, every voice that is contrary to the agenda of heaven, to the mandate of God concerning this work. Lord, we come against it today in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we are not ignorant of the devices of the wickedness of the kingdom of darkness. Therefore, we stand upon the word of God by the authority of the name of Jesus. We decree every voice of Tobias, every voice of Sambalat, we condemn it today in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we bless your name. Thank you, Most High. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. We're still going to pray that prayer. We know that any time God purposes to do a work, the enemy cannot be happy. The Bible says in the book of Ezra that the king issued a decree and a search was made in the archives where the treasures were stored. In verse 3 it says, in the first year of King Cyrus, the King Cyrus issued a decree concerning the house of God at Jerusalem. He said what? Let the house be rebuilt. Let this house be rebuilt. That was the decree of this king. Repugende to him. He issued a decree. In verse 4, he said, Let the expense be paid from the king's treasury. All that was required, God provided. Verse 6, he now said, Now therefore, Tetanai, governor of the region beyond rivers, beyond the river, and Shetza, Bozai, and the company of the Persians who are beyond the river, keep yourselves far from there. There were people who were giving decree that God's house needed to be built. You need to step away. There were people who were giving decree, go ahead and build the house of God. The children of God have been given this, issue, this decree and this mandate in Jesus' house. This year. We're going to pray. Lord God Almighty, those that need to step aside will step aside. Those that need to lay their hands upon the plow and move forward to build this campus will enjoy with us in the place of prayer and with all the resources to do this work in the name of Jesus. Let's begin to call things that have been not as though they are. Let's begin to decree. Those that need to step aside will step aside. In the name of Jesus. Those that need to lay their hands. Why? Because God has issued a decree that his house must be built. His house must be built. In the name of Jesus. Those that need to step aside in this area, in this region. Lord God Almighty, take them away in the name of Jesus. Those that need to lay their hands upon the plow. Oh Lord, so that this work can be built. Father, this camp can be established. Father, oh Lord, bring them in the name of Jesus, repugende terebo ho, rekembra hunda paha, retege terebo to ho. Lord, we decree in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, those that need to step aside, those that need to move out of the way, those that need to step aside, that this work may move forward. Father, take them away in the name of Jesus. Every contrary voice, Father, take them away. Those that need to enjoin, those that need to, oh Lord, support in the place of prayer, support with resources. Bring them away, bring them, oh Lord, and make them a part of this vision in the name of Jesus. Father, King of glory, we thank you because we know it shall be done. We know you will bring it to pass. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you and we adore you. We give you all the praise and glory. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. The purpose of building this house of God is so that God himself can bring about his purpose in this area. This is not just a statement. It is not an agenda of man. This is the house of God. The same way, the same way Solomon was given an agenda by his father that this must be done for God. That is how you and I have been given this responsibility. We're going to pray. Lord God Almighty, you gave Solomon the wisdom to build your house. In Jesus' house, you see, every single one of us will have the wisdom. Everyone, the building committee, every single one, everyone will receive wisdom to build this campus in the name of Jesus. Let's begin to pray for wisdom, the wisdom that we need in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, you said, if anyone lack, let him ask of you. We are asking, Lord, release into this house a fresh measure of wisdom from the leadership to the congregation. Oh, Lord, to do this work 
in the name of Jesus. You gave wisdom to Solomon. So he knew exactly what needed to be done. Father, to build your house. Father, we pray in the name of Jesus concerning this campus. Father, we are asking in the name of Jesus that you release wisdom. You release wisdom. You release wisdom from the building committee. You release wisdom upon the members in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray that you will grant us wisdom to build your house. You release a fresh unction unto us in the name of Jesus. Father, we come before your presence. We ask, O oh Lord, tonight. We pray for wisdom. Thank you, most high God. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. When they took Christ before Pontius Pilate, they wanted to accuse him, but they could not find anything. We're going to pray every single appointment that we have in the journey of this building every voice of accusation the same way nothing could be found on Christ because this is a house of God nothing will be found on this church nothing will be found to deny the plan and purpose of God in the mighty name of Jesus they could find nothing on Christ they would not will not be denied in the mighty name of Jesus every stage of approval it will go flawlessly in the mighty name of Jesus they could find nothing on him why because it's Christ himself I want us to pray this is the house of God this is his house House. This is his bride. The same way nothing could be found on the bridegroom. Nothing will be found on his church. In the mighty name of Jesus. Brethren, I want us to key into that prayer. Every single meeting, every council meeting, every appointment that we have, every stage of the building approval, we're going to pray. Lord God Almighty, this is your church. This is your pride. Nothing was found on you before Pontius Pilate. We decree upon Jesus' house this is in the progress of the campus. Father, than nothing, 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 nothing in the mighty name of Jesus. This is your bride. This is your church. Oh Lord God Almighty, we decree. Therefore, by the authority in the name of Jesus, that nothing, no blemish, nothing in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We give you all the praise and glory. Thank you, most high God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Two more prayer points. When they were building the tents, in the wilderness, Moses told the people, bring the resources. And it got to a point, Moses had to send another message. Stop, we have more than enough. Concerning this campus, we're going to pray. That that will be our testimony in the mighty name of Jesus. Brethren, begin to pray. God provides, the, makes a provision for the vision. God provides the provision, the resources, everything that is required for the vision. I want us to pray that Lord God Almighty, you did it in time past. You will do it again in the mighty name of Jesus. There will be abundance, abundance in the hands of your people to build this house in the mighty name of Jesus, there will be an abundance in the name of Jesus. You will supply all our needs according to your riches and glory. Father, we pray you will bless your people. They will be a blessing in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray that there will be open heavens upon your church, open heavens upon the members for the building of this house in the name of Jesus. Lord, the same way Moses had to send the message that there is an abundance, there is more than enough. We decree that will be our portion, that will be our experience in this house in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, King of glory, you said, King of glory in your word, that not by power, not by might, but by my spirit, saith the Lord. Father, therefore we decree, the same way Jehoshaphat did not live to lift the hand in the battle. Why? Because the battle belongs to the Lord. We decree that the resources will be in abundance in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord, the wisdom will be in abundance. The spiritual help in the place of prayer will be in abundance in the name of Jesus. Father, we give you praise. We thank you, most high God. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. The same day that that woman was coming back, the servant of the prophet was sharing her testimony and was able to plead her case. The Bible says the heart of kings are like rivers of water and God can turn it as he pleases. We're going to pray every governmental authority will favor us. 
with every single one of them, every stage, every planning count, every single office will favor us. Brethren, let's begin to pray. Favor of God, the favor of God. The Bible says Christ grew in favor before God and before man. We're going to pray that Jesus of ZC will grow in favor concerning the building, concerning the establishment of this work for God. We're going to pray for favor. The Bible says the heart of kings are like rivers of water. God can turn it as he pleases. God will turn it to please us. God will turn the heart of the county, the heart of the people, the neighbors, the people around to favor us in the mighty name of Jesus. The favor of God is better than life. We're going to ask God for favor. Favor in an unusual way. Favor in a way that we do not qualify for. Favor in a way that we cannot earn or deserve. Lord, pour out your favor concerning this work. Pour out your favor in the mighty name of Jesus. Let your favor rest upon us. Favor, oh Lord, from the governmental authorities. Favor from the planning. Father, we pray for favor all our way. Favor, O Lord God Almighty, concerning the contractors. Favor, O Lord, from breaking of the land to finishing. Favor, O Lord God Almighty, all around. In the name of Jesus, Father, release your favor. Release your favor. Release your favor. Release your favor upon your church, upon your people. Let there be a release of your favor. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we bless your name. Thank you, most high God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Let's just spend a few minutes just praying the Holy Spirit. Let's just begin to pray in the Holy Spirit. Rato jekere mato rebo zore bato hinda rahunda kaha reko jopre kazodo to rimba ha proko to rimba zombra kayombre he jetere boto reba zohombra kahi rika zopra kayando poho ha hinda ha keremba hunda ramba ha jopre karopo zopre hende rembo ho rikanda ramba koropo jehe zato prepo repo zopo preka paho ramba kahi rita zetere boto rebo zoho prahu Rakanda Yembrehe, Jeterebo to Himbro Kore Bahu, Atimba Kalinda Toropoho, Ende Kepo to Hi Zahu, Kahi Karimbaha, Rande Borebo Jeprehe, Zendereba Kahinda Randa Ra, Rembo Rebrebo, Hemreka Jembro Posehem, Ratunda Rahumba Hi, Kiranda Hando Pojoho, Teterebo Kohi, Prahunda Him, Prahanda Ramba Kaha, Jeterebo to Hemrehe, Tohi Prahu Kari, Taranda Kazembre, Korembo Jombrehe, Potor Hinda Randa Tahim, in the name of Jesus, Repoche Hem. Raha, Rimba Zaprobo Reboho, Repo Shehendi Reboho, Karanda Tarabaha, Hakarembo Zerebo, Eterebo, Eterebozo, Epre Hahin, Arando Torebojo, Pakura Hinda Rahumbaha, Tehebo Jopoho, Pehende Karimba Zaha, Prehendo Repo Zoprehe, Rinda Zatanda Raha, Jande Rebotohe, Prehe Karembo Zoho, Prehe, Poto Him Rahu Karibaha, Zinda Taropo Jopreh, Handa Ramba Brabo, Ete Zeterebo, Zeterebo, Repo Zopohi, Rap. Pajaha, Rande Terebrebo, Eke Repos Doho, Ete Lepre, Kazopre, Poem, Rohonda, Rimba, Zahur, Rapahi, Karunda, Ramba, Tohembo, Shekerebotoi, Reterebo, Tohembo, Shepre, Pokore, Panda, Rimbaha, Inda, Torebo, Zobre, Tohim, Ramba, Kayinda, Randaha, Zatata, Yaha, Imbrambo, Rebrebo, Shekerebrebo, Ete Repos, Dohonda, Father, we bless your name. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Church, let's just give a clap offering to the King of Kings. Let's give a clap offering to the Lord of Lords. Father, we thank you. We give you the praise, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' name.